I believe we are online. So hello, Marcus, again. Hello, Asko. So nice to have you here. Do you have any idea what day it is today? Today? Yeah. It's uh, 21st of April. No, it's 26th of April. It's World Loan Day 2023. Oh, right. Yes, I'm always wrong by five days. It's, <laughs> I'm a bit, I have another time zone. <laughs> so last cool. week... Last year I introduced you to Plone, mm -hmm. and now we are doing something more with Plone. And yeah, whatever we do today with well, with Plone, and we will either do it properly a week later <laughs> or continue <laughs> it um, at the what is Kamuda chapter San uh, Rio de Janeiro <laughs> in the fourth of the May. That's that's the Star Wars day. Ah, now I try to, I start yeah. to understand what the, what the chat was about. <laughs> yes. So we start with Plone and then we continue with Plone a week later. Let's try to bring these together. And then I want to advertise one more thing, which is um, whatever we do today, that I believe that will also be a topic for our Plone Midsummer print Sprint at the Vascular in the late June. Awesome. Just that midsummer. It's okay. So we have limited time. So let's start. So Thales is organizing Star Wars team uh, Kamuda day or Kamuda event um, week after this. So let's try to do something team with that. And yeah, for that we have a blown site. So um, we are living at the Galactic Empire, Galactic Empire, and we need to um, make a new, fresh new site for the for the Great Empire, and we use Bone for that. <laughs> are you really do we really want to work for the Empire today? Yes. Okay. Okay. We start with the Empire, and then we get bored with the Empire. We go with the Rebels. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, so we have, our new site is Empire Insider. That sounds nice. Like this. We work with Classic Blown because, um, well, my Kamuda integration only works with Classic Blown yet. But there is a topic to do with that also for Walter at the summer, or one possible topics, maybe, if we get there. So we have fresh, fresh blown site, then we install a plugin that's called collecting PPM proxy. And just to be sure that we work with our empire context, we will configure our common tenant to be the empire. Like this, so it'll be we are the Galactic Empire. Okay, so our job is to write news about the Empire, Empire, and we want to do that easily with the help of OpenAI ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, we we need to start it. Come on the process to for to help us with the process of. Uh, working with the AI and then finally publishing the content. So let's create a new process. And we have idea for news item. And then at the first run, we enter our idea. And then we did let that CPT to make uh, like small teaser, small more small article about that, and then we need some kind of review process for ourselves. Um, it's a user task. So review, review, and now something happens. Maybe, maybe we want wish to iterate on it. it. 
and then we will submit it back to back to AI. I review it again. And we, if we accept it, then we will try to publish it to clone automatically. And so how we are using Camunda 7. Yes, we are using Camunda 7. 790. Uh, for the storyline, it would be nice if the Galactic Empire would work with Camunda 8 and the Rebels with Camunda 7. Um, are you sure that the Empire devices are that fancy? Are they a little bit rusty? <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it, 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 yeah. Okay. So our process is... Our naming is hard. Empire Insider News Article. I need to have ID for it too. And nowadays, um, Model writing it requires us to also define the history of time to live for the process. That is very, very nice. Previously, you always forget it, forgot it. So, let's see. So, we have two user steps, tasks, and then two automated tasks here. And now we need to make some forms for our tasks. Let's make it a little bit nicer. Okay, now it's distributed evenly. It looks nice. And the idea is that we go, we could loop in this review generate process, and that that's how you iterate with ChatGPT, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will try to make it pass at first mm, immediately, but then we, if we have time, we <laughs> try to make it iteratable. Let's see how how far we got. So we need a form. So for that, we can use Camunda Modular Forms. Something simple. So enter news idea or something. Create news article. And we have like free text area for the idea. Or mm, I think we could, we could call it the idea. Hmm. Yeah, let's just call it idea. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. I haven't practiced it too much, so let's try to make it simple. It must have at least some length, maybe. Um, at least 20 characters. And yeah, you on this form playground, you can you can immediately test how how it works and see what it produces. But this is very nice in this current form designer. And then we need the submit button. And we could call it generate. Let's call it Q because it will take some time. No, 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 no. Submit the idea. Like now, when you when we enter submit the idea, then there's nothing in between before we get the review. It'd be nice mm. to have some kind of status of the idea. We can do that with parallel processes. So let's have parallel task here, just to show something for the user. So this could be called like we use the idea. And this could be ended with okay, this is this is technicality. <laughs> so 
just to make sure that user never leaves this task by themselves, we make a loop here. And then we add conditional event here. <laughs> so as soon as we have, as soon as we have, oh, can we, actually we can, we can put merge here. Then it would go, go properly. So as soon as we have the idea, then we will stop this wait message and, and show the review task. Why do we have the user task in the first place? Wait, wait for the article. Just, just to show, show some user interface for the user. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. The status of the thing. Otherwise, we would see. Okay, now we need to guess um, condition for the so text and, and update. Maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm doing something too complex now. Condition. No. Oh, not empty. Yeah. Not empty text. Maybe. Now I'm guessing <laughs> too much. Well, we get an error and we iterate. Um, we just make it make sure that the, the the variable exists in some form there before, and we can do it here in the output mapping. So text is empty and idea is idea. Like this. So idea will be propagated to the process and And same here, we will use the idea as an variable for the for the task. And then we expect it to output text for us. Like this. And then we worry more when we are there. So we enter idea, and for that we have this idea form. We need an ID for the form, so it's in this article the idea submit. And then we make other version of that for the waiting. Here we don't we don't want to have button, so we remove button, and this would be like read only. Okay, and then we still need the trade review, so let's make one more form. So article ID submit article wait article ID review. And now to save time we we now we set it without the button and then we will come to fix. We come to fix the form when we are there. And this will be the text. We have this idea and then we have the final text in this text field. Okay. And this was review. Hopefully I didn't overwrite. Like this. Okay. Now I open all these forms one more time so I'm sure we, we didn't overwrite the review. Submit and wait, and the hopefully it will look correct. So this is what what is wait. This is submit, and this is review. So three forms. 
and process. And now we need to wire up this form to the process. I can actually, we can actually send these forms already. Oh, never mind, because even Kamuda itself doesn't support some fields, we can still support those fields in, in clone. So never mind about these. Mm -hmm. Let's send these forms to Kamunda. Then we can refer to these forms in our process. So enter the idea document form. Kamunda form it was, I will copy this <laughs> idea so I don't title it. So he started submit. Then we wait for it. And then we review it. And maybe, maybe still we need to put some place for something for these external tasks so we can work also on them. So this would be external task called AML, well, the nearest article. And publish article. And this will get all the variables. And then it will output the URL of the article. Okay, hopefully, we have guessed well enough. Let's try to deploy this process. And we forget to accept here. So now we always accept because we haven't yet implemented the condition there. So let's just make here as accept is always true. Accept it. And here, here we test it. Accept it. It's true. And whatever else, it is this the default path. And this would be actually parallel merging gateway. Like this. Okay. Next try. It was deployed. And I forgot to deploy it for our, our tenant, but actually we, we see that we will see all the all the empty tenant, all tenants will see the deployment without tenant, so we should be able to see it here, and we have it here. Okay, so create news article. Yeah, I just need to figure out a better name for the content type later. So this content type will, will wire up we will proxy one process, which is now this mm -hmm. Empire Internet News article. And maybe we can show the diagram here just to see it better. And we have, have some more configuration that are sometimes useful. And I did for, still forget something. Let's go back to them. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> did I forget to set some of the forms? Let's see again. They sit on the set. But I also, also need, what I forgot was to save the user that starts the process. We save the auto variable and then we use the auto variable to delegate the tasks. Otherwise, we won't ever see these tasks if we won't delegate them. Well, that was surprising demo effect. So what's happening here? We don't must be something. But... Ah. Oh, yes. We don't have a form. We don't have form for the start event. Yes. Because it, it's this. Ah, uh, yeah. Because in, in, in ZB, you don't have start events. You don't have forms at start events. And I use been using too much ZB lately. So we don't need that, this task at all because we're going to put it here. 
but now because we accept the tech to be here there we need empty event here to make the text variable well, exist so we can with the wait it <laughs> well you could actually like wait for for it to be here can we wait for the create i haven't tried that before so let, let's let's try mm -hmm. we are here for trying and having fun so, okay next try now we have the form wide up for the start event we deploy and we are blown and now we have our submission form we also can preview our process now because we selected visible so this is what we are doing so um, we want um sort sort news article with congratulations Galactic Emperor for their 200th birthday. Make it glorious. Okay. And then we submit this idea. And then we get an error. Okay, let's just disable the diagram for now. I, I managed to make bug there. So now we are waiting for the article, but we cannot now see the process here. We cannot see all the process come on the side. And now we want, now we go to code. So we have the, for that we use Robocorp code. Mm -hmm. And I have a template for editor bot here for us. And we go to their documentation and copy example about using ChatGPT. Somewhere here, open AI. Oh, really? Yes, they have keyword for that. <laughs> the open AI has API, so. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah, but it's nice that they have have keywords for that too. Okay. Yeah, and we actually want to do chat completion. Chat, chat completion create. It uses new model by default. And then we need to take our work item. So take apple corp work items. And set task variable from work item like this. Now we should have the idea variable on our code. And then I have I have I have the secret and the invariant variable and current RCC will which is my integration for running RCC bots for common seven. It will map invariant variables at secret called names. So we use secret library because it will hide those secret like passwords from from the robot framework logs. Mm -hmm, That's right. why we use this library. And just for convenience, I will I have mapped one secret called n that holds all environment variables. And there we have open AI open AI API key. And then we pass idea for it. The variable. And now we get an error because it doesn't, doesn't know that we have the variable. So let's define the variable. Be empty as third, and then we check that it's not empty after that. So it should not be empty. Yeah. So now, if we didn't get the idea from the work item, we should get, get an error at this point. And then we submit, and we get the result. And now I don't know what is the. I don't know what kind this result is. Maybe it's in documentation. But anyway, we can try this out now already. And for that, we create work item here. 
and we so enter our ID variable here and tell me about frisbee golf. No. <laughs> it's it's a thing everywhere now. I, I saw it in uh, in 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 January in in Turku. They they had they had uh, these these baskets everywhere in the park. <laughs> now I was told that uh, that the town close to here they, they they have it now as well. Nice. Okay. So now we can uh, test our bot straight from the what crop code. So it looks nice. And something I forgot. <clears throat> you want how, to how, how, how did you get the OpenAI key into the environment? Oh, did, did you prepare it and it just, it's just yes, there I in the vault? Yes, I prepared it. So in yeah. Robocorp, um, so library sub supports only also reading those variables from files. Mm -hmm. So I have here dev data uh, slash m JSON, and it will tell, it will configure Read secrets to be read from Walt JSON, which is here. I don't show it to you, but it's here. Yes. And that's all documented in Robocorp documentation. Mm. So I'm, I just Googled and followed the documentation to have it here, <laughs> invisible, automatically. Cool. And little more thing I want. I want to have some prefix here. So like. In Star Wars context. <laughs> uh, and post fix in mark down syntax or okay, my mark down syntax is valid. All right, it's a little more mathematical. Now we don't need to tell in our Star Wars setup that we are, <laughs> of course. Are... Star Wars doesn't speak of a Star Wars by itself. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. But now, <laughs> what do you think it will tell us now? Yeah, yeah I'm curious. Yeah. What is the free speak of in Star Wars syntax context? Yeah. <laughs> we will see that soon. And then now we need to really look in for the logs. Where is the, where is the text we want to pass the clone. Okay. It's polar sport also in Star Wars universe. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Some Jedi have been known to use force to instance their start. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. No. Oh, of, of course they are flying to this with force. <laughs> <laughs> that that's cool. Yeah, maybe maybe um, since we um, publish for the Galactic Empire, maybe we can add to the prefix from the view of the Galactic Empire. Ah, that that that's cool. I don't. I think it it will work. Let's start like this at first. I was just looking how this is like. So this is this is this is a list, and we need only this first part of the list for now. Okay, yeah. So let, let's get that back to load. Okay, so we get out work item and we save out set out work item variable. No, we save variable out of work item. No. We say work item no. We set <laughs> work item variable yes yes. We want to have text variable no actually in this context we don't need this this variable syntax we just name name it variable it's text and this is this is compilation index zero and then we save work item. Okay, let's try it one more time. 
so we can see the output, output variable that it outwork item that looks correct and you can be more convinced convinced that it works at clone so this will take some time again awesome and it gave us pretty much the same answer and now we look for the output work items here and we see we have the data we wanted to have here. So we have we have this data in in Markdown syntax here. Yeah, uh -huh. because we we can also preview this, that Markdown in in those forms, I believe. We can have both the preview version and then the wrap code version. That's why I want to use Markdown here. Do you have some question? No, 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 no. It's it's, it's all good. I was wondering if we if we can leave out the first line every time because it's it always starts it, it mentions Star Wars but we're already in Star Wars so I was wondering oh. if you can remove that. Yeah. But that's something so, for later. So, yeah. so let's give it better instructions then. So in Star Wars context, without <laughs> mentioning <answering>. Star Wars. <laughs> okay, let's hope it just works. Let's wrap it again. And it's pretty Do you have to apply for this API key? Uh, no, no. So as soon as you have an account, you, you get a key? Yeah. OK, cool. Uh, at least as soon as you, you submit your credit card details there. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. Now it's working. So I should have tested, tested this beforehand to go through those few steps. So now our robot is working. It's already done. And we go back to clone. This would have been disappeared. Yeah, task has been disappeared. There's no longer a waiting task. And you have a new task for reviewing the article. And here we have the story. And now I want to update this form just to have us have us um, preview, nicer preview of, of the article. And it's come. Uh, so we got common modeler. We found our review form and we we make it text view here and this will be from variable text this should make it preview let's hope now we reflect on you and ah, now we have review for our news article and you can do edits for it in Markdown if you wish to. Mm -hmm. Does it mention Star Wars? No, it doesn't. No. No. So it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Let's add button for the form. <laughs> Make it glorious. Yes. <laughs> Submit. Publish. <laughs> Make it so. <laughs> well, that would break <laughs> the universe. <laughs> Yes. Refresh now. We have now. We publish it, and it's gone. It's gone. And now the process is waiting for us to do something to publish the news item. And we have ten minutes. Let's mm -hmm. see if we can make plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. Let's check what was the name for the task. Now task name was. It was published article. Okay, so do you remember what's it like a robot task name? I never remember this one. So maybe they have documentation here. Yes, it's robot yep. task name. The short shortcut for running robot framework. So this one is the topic in the common modeler, and, and this one now will be the name of the robot task. And this was create a text compilation. OK, <laughs> let's go with that. Was it text or text compilation? Text compilation. Really? Yes, it was. OK. Ah, OK, OK. You're replacing the, OK. And pop, pop, please. This can be 
Chris article. And I double check the name. Yeah. So because everything I, I lose cover in, in Gamunda. <laughs> you need to re- hold a lot of names and mm-hmm. keep those in sync. Okay. So publish article. And new keyword and new, new task. Publish. And we forgot to separate the, the name for the articles. Now it's uh, now we need to just guess the name. Take name from the first line of the thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know we should have also the text variable here. And let's check that it's not camping. And now we need to check clone REST API documentation, how we make clone article. It's not hard, I just don't remember it by heart. So content manipulation, creating a resource. So it's like this, and we have Python request example here. I think we can go with that, and we can. Probably we could write all this in Python too. It's just with with robot framework we get those fancy logs. A robot framework has its own request wrapper too, but I have never learned to use it, so I use request library directly. Uh-huh. It works because it has no so nice API. So we need to make make automation headers at first. We create dictionary and content type is application JSON. And authorization is, oh, we need the secret then. And we also need to wrap, export that. Let's do that. So, clone like this before we forget it. Before we forget, so secrets and not the reason header is secrets clone authorization. So right now it's admin user of clone. Make it easy for us. And we also need to have access application station here. And then we need to make the content or payload. And let's see the text is <clears throat> can we somehow easily extract the first line from the text, at least with Python? So you can use inline Python with robot framework, uh-huh. and maybe we, maybe we try that out. So... Um, Why the first line? So I'm looking for this. <laughs> so, create content. We need define type. Type is its news item. There is such content type clone by default. And title is uh-huh. text. And actually now we now we use this inline Python syntax. Uh-huh. And we split it from new lines and we take the first oh. oh don't we need to oh no we, maybe we don't i thought we now we need a um dollar before the text even in the inline python 
Uh, not in inland Python. Yeah. Python does handle dollars for variables. Oh, yep. Now I understand when I. No, I don't understand when I get them over today. And next will be the rest. And now, well, Blon expects it to be HTML, so it doesn't look good now. We should ask the chat GPT to make it HTML at first. Maybe we can, we can try to do that. <laughs> what? Um, Convert this markdown to HTML. <laughs> now I'm, I'm trying my luck here. <laughs> <clears throat> and now it no, no, now it long, no longer works. <laughs> so, oh my. We need to, we want to have this first line that was the uh, here, mm. we want to have that, and then we want to have the rest for the completion. Why do we need HTML? Blown, it's blown default content. You could call blown and configure or change the default content. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. Let's let's check, check clone. We are going. I believe we are going with overtime. Input in, are you are you busy? Input today? clone. What what kind of content the document has? It defaults to HTML, but you can change it to Markdown. I believe. Yeah, but yes. Can't we can't we tell that it's Markdown when we when we send the article to clone? Oh, uh, we probably can. We first enabled here, and then we can. Uh -huh. Yes. But I don't remember. I don't remember, remember the argument in it by has with the content. So let's try the lock. Okay, so no no extra open eye anymore. We remove this and now we pass title and then the rest. And well we all we would still need to publish it, but let's let's leave the publish now. We are happy to have unpublished document there. And we have post and we post to Clone, which is okay. Uh, we couldn't reach our local host for some reason, and the site name was Empire Insider, and it has news folder. And we said. And this one I won't be trying beforehand because we are running out of time and we only want to create the article once. And then, well, we should re return a new URL for that. Oh. But that's, that's, well, that's too much now. We just return something so that the cache won't fail. So we, we can see from the clone rest API documentation, it's the return to URL in, he, in header, I think. So it's here in that location header. Mm -hmm. It's not so hard to find out there, but I'm just cutting corners now. Yeah. So we need to create output work again because we are expecting that in our process. Set work item variable URL, and now that's just just upload. So it looks like I need to practice a bit before <laughs> Thales presentation to have this code more smoothly. Let's see. 
our code. Publish the article. Read the variables from that bit. bit. You read the variables we get from blown. And then we create authorization header and payload for creating this item. And then we post it. And then we save something for the process. And now we wrap the robot. And we restart our integration again. Now it should find two tasks there. And we have something broken in our robot shell. Let's see. Oh, the, the published article has a shell and a robot task name. Thanks. That's exactly what this told us, I guess. One more time. OK, so we have, yes, we have two bots here. And it probably has, yeah. we already broke the, broke the task, so we need to go to common that to wake it up. So it failed because our configuration was broken. And now fingers crossed. I should check why it doesn't get it. It should get it to get the task immediately. But for some reason, the integration in we are using I'm using Kamunda with uh, Microroute, mm -hmm. and for some reason that um, well it has locked it, but it oh, that's interesting. Let's see if it can unlock it. No, I don't know. As every now and then it locks the task, but it doesn't doesn't get it. I don't know. Well, quickly it's... create a new one. Uh, how? Let's see when this in clone. It will only wait four minutes. But in clone, you can create a second one. Ah, from blown. Of course, of course. Um. <laughs> okay. At least, at least it's working for that now mm -hmm. for us. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's the uh, the old yeah. one. You, you're looking at the process instance. Yes. Yes. Leave you. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> <I don't>... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's publish that too. <laughs> and the publishing fails. Text is not defined. The variable text is not there. Huh. So we were right after all. We are about that variable, variable doesn't work. Or was it wrong to use those dollars around the oh so it work like this? Let's figure out. We are so close. We are so close. This, this mm -hmm. won't take a long time again. Yeah, I, I have time. I just try to be too fancy. Let me with... quickly check the user guide. Yes. How we use inline Python in our framework. And why this <laughs> why this now locks the task without without working on them. Yes. It makes it wait. So that, that's not nice. Okay. You do I'm need sorry. the dollar before the curly brackets. Okay. And um, you need a dollar before the variable, but you don't need the curly brackets before the uh, for the variable. So, so it is yes, there, dollar, there, dollar. And before the text, you also need a dollar. 
before the text variable. Really? Like this? Yes. No, 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 not, not like this. Otherwise, if, if you if you use curly brackets for the variable, it, it makes a, a string. Yes. But if you, yes, but what? now the text needs a, needs a dollar sign so that the variable text is used and not the content, the text, just the dollar. Yes, right. Like this? Like this. Yes. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. I never seen that. I might be, I haven't used properly. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have it's a putting new art, more articles there. Mm -hmm. Well, that one at least works. Mm -hmm. Now you could, so for, for for a complete Galactic Empire news portal, you could now also demand that each article should have uh, links to other articles and then um, use those links to other articles as an input variable for your process. So it generates articles after articles after, after articles and they're all referencing each other. And now we are getting a lot of failures still. What? No. Let's see one. <sighs> Let's really? take a look. We are so close. We're so close. <laughs> so. String object. Has... Items. I'm missing. Oh, no, no, I'm not me. Failure is dictionary. Payload is this dictionary. And yes, you are correct. Now it works properly. So payload looks correct. And so does the authorization. So what is this one? Posts. String has no attribute by the like string. Mm. Oh, I, I, I did forget dollar sign. <sighs> yeah. I was, I was okay. so sure I didn't forget. I did forget after all. And actually, for, I, and we don't need actually restart the RCC when, when we just update the code. It will unpack the code every time separately. So now we just uh -huh. go. One, for one more retry. And I'm sorry for the hour over time. I oh, know, no issue. <laughs> but that's fun. Yeah. Woohoo! Did, did it fail already? No, it even hasn't even started yet. It's just completed. No, no, oh. no. Now it's working. And now it's back. <gasps> And now we should have the articles at loan, hopefully. No. No. No, I will get from the front form folder. There, there. The... Yes. Yes. I just failed to <laughs> remove this. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Let's let's publish them. They are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Quality um, journalism. Yeah. State, publish. Done. No. Oh, no, they're here. And now we can insert the content. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, thank you, Marcus, for <laughs> staying with me. We managed to integrate ChatGPT with CMS using Camundo 7. And robot yeah. gamer. Isn't that nice? Yes. Yes. So <laughs> even we use ChatGPT isn't open source, right? So others yeah. everything yeah, else using, was open source. Service. But I think there are more and more there are open source like like mini mini GPTs or something. There so there will be uh, 
community built models, I believe, in this year. Yes, yes, I, I read of about course it. they are different. Of course, they may not use so huge mm -hmm. uh, database for the data, but they are they are optimized for being run with the single GPU, for example, mm -hmm. and be good enough. You don't you when. For example, for this use case, we would not need real chat GPT that knows the whole, everything, knows the whole Wikipedia. We all need to know about the Star Wars universe <laughs> to build these right. articles and yes. about how to write good articles. Yes. So, so I believe we will have open source models op with open source data, hopefully, this year. Yeah. And then we can oh, use that. That will be data. fun. Yeah. For now, that, well, chat GPT is, is low hanging fruit for having fun at least. Of course, you need to be yeah. careful what data you are sending there. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, don't send your company private information there when you are <laughs> asking for cooperation. <laughs> Even they, they did say that they, they don't use that data anymore anymore for training. Beforehand, they did also use the data for training. That, <laughs> so your private data really? was ended. Yes, yes. Oh, they stop it that only in, in March, I believe. Mm. Okay, mm. so... No, next week, but maybe in two weeks or in two weeks we are back. Yes, Maybe I will back. be on on a trip. Uh, yeah, at the Commander Community Summit. So in that week, oh, I cannot. I forgot. I will be in, in the train. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so after the summit, we figure out the next Friday you are available. Then we continue. All right. From this end. and yeah, and fourth of May on Star Wars Day we have um, Commander chapter. Regret Janeiro with Thales and we go through this again and probably I, I'll try to polish a little have have those bots more ready so we can play on the boats of the on the Empire side and then on the rebels rebel side too. So oh, nice. Have a nice weekend, Marcus. You too. Bye bye. See Asko. you.